Unity Live Event Lighting, Episode 5. Add an on-off button to lights. So in the last video, we showed how to make lights with coding, and now I'm gonna show you how to kind of code a button on the screen that you can control to turn on and off lights. So here we are in the scene, it's looking great, and let's go down to UI and create a button. Now, it doesn't just create a button, it creates an event system, and then it creates a canvas. The canvas is what's gonna house all of our UI elements, okay? You can go and create a UI canvas and then create a button, but just creating a button before you have a canvas automatically creates a canvas for you. You can go up and using the different tools, let's move the button into a position that we like. Go to the button, and in the drop down menu, you can choose text. This is how we actually change the visual text of the button. Now that we change the text, I go back to the button and I go down to the bottom and there's this area called on click, okay? And I click the plus sign to add a function. And I can drag my spotlight row A which is a game object, which from episode two is housing our row of lights, okay? And now I can go to game object, set active, and it gives me this button. So when I click, I can have it go on and off with this toggle. So let's give it a shot and start the game, and let's see what happens. When I click the button, the lights have turned off. We've made the lights turn off, now let's add another button to turn the lights back on, okay? I'm gonna place the button right next to my other one. I go to the text and I'm gonna change the text to lights on. And then we go back to the main button game object. Let's create a new on click for our new button and let's drag in Remember, the spotlight row A is what we want to control. So let's drag that in and then set the game object to be on when I click lights on. And let's go and we can rename our buttons so we don't get confused later. So let's test it out. Lights on, lights off. Looks great. So that is how to turn the lights on and off using buttons within Unity, so you can do some crazy things in the future, like have a phone with all the buttons that you want to control on it, and then you can have the game running, and you can just click the buttons that you programmed. That's how to do it. All right, let's go on to episode six.